Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing. And you know, we plan these videos like way in advance and we keep all of our ideas and we check them off as we do them. And the, the one actually after last week's auto former was supposed to be us heading out on our spring trip. Right. And those are the videos we enjoy making yep. the most. And those are the ones we rewatch um, about our Americana series and traveling to different places. But for obvious reasons, well, not we're, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, we're sort of stuck. So. And it doesn't make sense. And even uh, our next planned trip is April 30th to uh, Charlestown. Charlestown Breachway. Yep. Hopefully things will be good to go back at that time. And even, even this summer, you know, if you check out this video that we did here, we had everything planned. Well, we had a bunch of rallies and events that we were going to go to, but unfortunately, most of them were canceled. They're all canceled, as a matter of fact. So we're going to have to reevaluate uh, how we get out. Yeah, we're going to have to replan our summer trip. So that should be interesting. But in the meantime, we're going to be still turning out content that we hope will get you ready for your RV season when we're all ready to get back out there. Because I know when it's time to go, Everybody. we're all going to be ready. So yeah. we're going to start that with this week here. and. Uh, building on one of our other episodes. Right, we're gonna have some fun with our itaki. Our truck is gonna cook our lunch and we're gonna end up in a nice little park in Manchester. And we'll keep away from everybody, keep safe. Yep. Uh, but we hope you enjoy this episode with how to cook lunch because this is something we are looking forward to, being able to hit a rest stop, have some lunch, and we're gonna practice cooking that as we go forward. Yep, so I hope you enjoy this. All right, so we are about to make our marinade for our chicken for our itaki lunchbox. And so, this is one book that I found very helpful in uh, making Japanese cooking, and that's what's good for the Itaki lunchbox as well, because we're gonna be doing chicken with a soy type sauce plus rice on the top. So this has been a very good book, and you can find that on my Pinterest board, and the recipe for the marinade will be linked below. So what we're gonna start with is the chicken that we chopped up. We're going to do three ounces of soy sauce. We're going to do two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Two teaspoons of sugar and one teaspoon of cornstarch to help thicken it up. And we're just going to mix all of that together and stick this back in the fridge. You can just let your chicken sit there anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, whatever you want. We're going to just cover this and stick it in the fridge. And we're chopping up some red pepper to add to our chicken mixture. And we're going to chop up this onion as well. And we're, you know, we're keeping the pieces large. I think uh, the time that it takes for the chicken to cook, this will all soften very nicely. So the next step we're gonna do is we're going to rinse a quarter cup of rice. I'm just gonna pour that into the top. Get a spoon. So get all this rice out. Going to be our top part. And we're going to lift that out. And we're going to pour our chicken in. Make sure you get all that cornstarch because that's what's going to thicken your sauce. in our veggies. And we're gonna give those a stir. Everything sort of incorporated in there. All right, we're gonna add our water to the bottom. Two. 
So we're gonna complete the assembly. We're just gonna lay our bottom layer on, lay our, our top layer on, and we're gonna close her up. And she will be ready to go. Okay, we've got the ataki loaded up. We're ready to cook lunch. But first, we're gonna get some gas, but we're gonna do it safely in these crazy times. I'm not gonna to touch anything on this. So I've got this little handy dandy dude, which is good for opening doors. So I'm gonna say, I don't wanna do that, no. All right, so now I'm gonna remove nozzle. I'm gonna use my gloves, because these things apparently are really disasters for viruses. And no, I didn't buy these just now and taken a hospital from them or anything. These are from my dump station stuff. capitalist fueling and now we're going to safely fuel during these periods of the virus all right Cindy's gonna go ahead and plug uh our little tacky electric lunchbox in our road is a disaster and we were shaking back and forth so we did the shake and bake test and this thing didn't move so again the attacky takes 200 watts of power and, we are and our down. ford f-150 is good for 400 watts of power and we are cranking up we're going to let this run for about 40 minutes to make sure that chicken is fully cooked and they're probably going to let it sit for five. So I'll All right. take a trip to Manchester. Let's get on the road. So we are about 10 minutes in and I can already smell the rice and I can smell the chicken. So for those of you that may not have a plug like our Ford F-150 does, You can um, certainly have an inverter. A small, if you have a small little inverter, you can plug into your 12 volt socket and use your inverter. And in fact, there was another YouTuber that we watched who cooked her um, dinner in her Subaru. It looked like a Subaru. And had a 12 volt with a little um, inverter. And we can link to that video below if you want to. Yeah, I don't know if I can, but I think I can. But um, yeah, she's got a million subscribers, so she'll we'll link her video, although I doubt she'll link our video with <laughs> a million something subscribers. Yeah. Uh, but it's one of the channels we enjoy. But the um, Ataki seems to be doing great. That and I want to re-emphasize that, you know, all those people who thought that this thing was unsafe, I, uh, we are all, if you've watched any of our Love Subbing videos, you know we are obsessed with safety. And um, I consider this to be far less dangerous than a cup of coffee. Absolutely far less dangerous than a cup of coffee. So we have a new traveling companion. Ah, yes, Otto. As you can see, our little travel companion back there. The wings on his outfit are courtesy of my brother who works for United Airlines. Yep, Otto is our autopilot, so that should make our driving a heck of a lot easier when we want to take a break. Exactly. Uh, we'll go ahead and let Otto do some of the driving. We'll see how he does. And hopefully he's a good tower. All right, we are here at Manchester, Vermont, at the park here. Little town park. Let's go see how she looks. We haven't opened it up yet, so we'll see. It's gonna be a little steamy. Rice looks perfect. Let's see. Oh, they look, the rice does look perfect. I'm gonna serve up the rice first. So we're just gonna give this a stir, but everything looks cooked. Everything looks good. We'll have 
have we'll have a little bit of uh, sauce for the top. Crazy. So doesn't that look great? So there you have it. Hot lunch in a city park. All right, let's go give this thing a taste, huh? Yeah, I think it looks great. I'm, it does look good. I'm starving. We have our cloth down here, which we'll wash right afterwards. Mmm. Chicken's cooked perfectly. Is it? Mm hmm. Yep. Great sauce. the veg. Veg is perfect. Mm. Actually the veggies are perfect. Not too uh, not too soft but not too uh, crisp either. Well this isn't the rest area we were hoping for today but nope. nevertheless we'll give this uh, Itaki some practice so that when we do hit the road with our Airstream RV we'll have some good recipes. How was it overall? Oh, it was good. Like I said, the sauce could have been a little thicker, but it was a, a delicious lunch. Yep, I think we're both members of the Clean Plate Club. Yes, I think we are. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe if you've not already done so. And comment below if you like videos like this. I mean, we could do more of them. Yep, it'll be a little bit different in the coming weeks, but we'll get some good content out. Yeah, so we, I think we're gonna have some fun. And we come out with RV and Airstream related content every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.